Hey Theater Mania, this is Josh Groban and we are celebrating the opening night on Broadway of The Great Comet of 1812. We've worked really hard and I think now we get to kind of sit back and appreciate the hard work and congratulate each other. It's just, um, it's such a pleasure to be a part of an ensemble this talented, you know, it's it's beyond all my wildest dreams, to, and, and this has been a big dream. So I, I read War and Peace like eight years ago or so, this section immediately sang out to me and I filed it away in the back of my head as like, oh, this should be a musical someday. And then Ars Nova saw another show of mine and loved it and said, let's write it, let's do a piece together. And I sheepishly threw this idea at them and they said yes. And I was like, oh God! The first workshop was probably about five years ago and so much of the things that I love about theater and music are still here, even though the space just got bigger and bigger and bigger. To make it to this level, there's some there's something like very special about that. In some ways, the show has changed a lot um, and really become elevated. In some ways, it's still the same show that it was at Ars Nova. We've been working on this show for a long time now, and now we get to just give it away to people, which is very exciting. It's just a slice of life that also is just like so full of magic energy. It's like if you want to go learn a lesson and also feel like dancing on a table at the end, this is the show to see. At its core, it is a love story. It is, uh, it is a love story. It's, it's uh, falling in love during times when there is chaos at the doors. It's somebody who can't quite go on because the world is so ugly alongside somebody else who's quite naive and making really bad decisions. I think that people come to the show with a little bit of confusion sometimes. They don't know what it's about. They maybe heard that the set looks cool. And um, you hope that they walk away feeling like for the last three hours they were transported to some place beautiful and, and some place that tells them a little bit more about themselves and their lives and that's what great art can do sometimes. I hope that they are exhilarated and that they're sort of on a high. Yeah, I hope they leave thinking I just saw something happen that I may never see again. I hope that they've come away with like a catharsis, like a real cathartic moment, which is what we're supposed to have at the theater, right? That's what the Greeks all said we're supposed to have. And I think that this show really provides that. I mean, I have it every single night. It's exhausting. <laughs>